still going to chat about some of the Metri color scopes, basic color correction tools, and the new Photoshop generative expand tool. So I work with these three scopes. Uh, the top one here is a Luma waveform histogram. This is a vector scope. I use this more with um, color saturation and skin tones. And the one down here is just, you can see what is too saturated or uh, how level your colors are. So I'm going to start with the Luma waveform. This is my personal favorite. Mostly your exposure of the image, stuff that's like really bright and really dark in a bit in the middle. I'd love to take you through the Lumetri color panel itself. Basically, when you click auto on a clip now, it guesses and shows you how it made those changes and makes an educated guess based on what it knows. It's an AI feature. So for me, when I look at this, I, I see that it's a bit dark, as I said, in the shadows, and I would play with that first. As you see, when I move something, you notice all these graphs moving. You learn how to read them, like doctors read x-rays, Right. I guess. Yeah, because it's going so, left to right, right? Yeah, so you learn that that's her hand, and then this has got to be her hair. It's the darkest part of the image. Color correction is the act of normalizing an image. It has no artistic vision. It is accurate. Color grading is subjective, it is art. There are less rules around color grading because some people will want an image that's really saturated or they want it quite neon -y. If I wanted to check it, as I was saying earlier, I would go to my effect controls very quickly. I would grab, I believe it's my opacity one. I would just do a little triangle so I can see what that is. Go back to my scopes and I can see here that it is entirely on that line. So I know that the skin tones are pretty accurate there. So vibrance is, it pushes uh, up every color from its lowest point up a little bit, but saturation just moves every color to the top. And then I usually dip into my curves. And so the big thing for this shot in particular was I needed this blue to look like sky. And I just clicked the blue. It, show, it selects out the blue end of that spectrum. And I just play with this up and down. So with these clips, you can see already that they're a little pink. It's a really simple fix, I think, for this kind of thing, where you can click on something like her teeth, which would not naturally be pink and I would just put more yellow in there and it already like it's so minor but it is definitely happening so I have this log clip here what you do is you go up to Premiere Pro and your settings and general and you can literally just tick this box called auto detect log color video space and it normalizes it for you the first thing you want to do is you want to take a still and you can do that by using the export frame camera and I will just send it to my desktop. I'm just going to drag that into the Photoshop beta or open it up in Photoshop. You go into the crop tool and you get this bar called generative expand. And I'm just going to pull this around here, I guess. And then I'm going to try and center it to the bottom. I can either just click generative expand and click generate and see what it generates. So it's made this, but maybe I'm like, mm, that's not what I want. So let's try stadium. This is perfect. Let's try and see if we can do it here and write crowd. It's actually got it quite well there. What you want to do, and this is important, is you want to switch off the original layer and then you just want to export it as a PNG. So we'll just do a quick PNG export. So now I'm just going to drag this literally on top. And the first thing we notice is like, oh, this is much bigger than we need it to be. So a very quick way to fix this is to go to set frame size and it should make that still the same size as that frame. And I'm going to go underneath because that clip is underneath, it should, in theory, when I bring this in, be perfectly Look hidden. Now they're playing sports. And it's food. where they catch a board game. Thank you so much for tuning in today and hopefully we'll catch you in the next one.